Hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I am Wishblade and I guess we're back in the capital. No more being in a forest, we've been there for so long now. Thank goodness! Yes we have. Excellent freaking work is what was done in the past couple of days and stuff. Yes. Indeed. It did heal. A lot. Suddenly there was a dead forest and now, and now there is a living forest. It's amazing! The power of magic! Oh, Well, that's great. Can we go kick Dayan's ass now? Can we go to war? Because I'd like to go to war and kill all the enemies! <laughs> okay. I'll be good. I'll not be a crazy warmongering person. It's okay. I will. Thank you very much. We are very gracious. Graceful. Great. We're grateful. Words? Difficult. Yes. Yes, princess, you must also thank the kind little girl because she helped us. Has it now? Have we taught a lesson to the young ruler of the most gigantic empire of all existence? We kinda do. We need to be good friends and not have any racism. Otherwise, things are gonna happen and those things aren't gonna be good. Yeah, even your goddamn grandmother knew this. You must learn from your elders and respect them. Clearly you did not. Well, maybe a little bit, but not that much. No. Indeed he was. He was a good man. That guy, he was a very good king. Also, Angelic Choir! Right on time. I like it. Oh, really? That sounds like a very fine improvement of all the things in life. No, you cannot. You must look upon these issues and deal with them. You cannot just let them build up in a bottle somewhere. Stow them away in some dark corner of your heart and mind. Will ya now? That sounds very, very much enjoyable. And very... I don't know. It's just gonna be very good. Good times are ahead of us. So can we get going now and kick some wood? Because I'd like to. Oh, okay, yes. I'll just be going outside and let the nobles do the talking. What? What? Why? Why are we not done? What, what did I do now? Damn it, Ike! You're so <laughs> impudent and impatient as ever. That sounds about right. What? I am heeding you. Okay. Really, a more appropriate title, like what? He's a commander. That's what he is. No, we don't want to be a noble. No, no thank you. I don't want to be a noble. That just leads me to be a, a bastard. And I don't want to be a bastard. No. What? How am I not allowed to refuse this thing? This blah 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 something? Hmm. I guess a mercenary leading an army, an actual army, would maybe be potentially kinda... What? Some might question that. Well... So what are you going to do, little missy? What? What? What's going on? Everyone disappeared? And the music disappeared? What is gonna happen now? Oh, hi, Lencia. Why, what's gonna happen to me? What are you going to do? I don't... I don't want... I don't know what's going to happen. This is, this is really not necessary. <laughs> Put on a funny hat. No, I do not cover up that amazing hair. No, I will not allow it. If you give me a hat, then I will throw it away. What? I don't want to give you my sword. It's my sword. You can't have it. It's mine. Apparently I did anyway. Okay. Okay. Are you going to knight me? Okay, I'm sure. Whatever. I shall be your knight. That sounds about right. Okay. Music! Thank you! Are we just gonna sit here and accept whatever is gonna happen now? The title and rank of Lord? What? Okay.
And I get to promote as well. And become a lord. As they've already said. We are now a lord. And we have a different sprite in everything. Look at how amazing he is. That is a beautiful, handsome man. Yes, it is. It's very weird that the commander is like one of the last people to promote out of all the mercenaries. But still, what can you do? So yeah, this is a thing that happens in the story at this point. I gets to promote. So if he's not level 20 at this point, then that's kinda meh. But then again, that's kinda easy to achieve, so whatever. Why, thank you, ladies. Thank you for approving of Ike's amazing looks. Ike, you're getting all the ladies, you goddamn charming bastard. It's not so bad. It's not so bad, right? No, it doesn't. Absolutely not, as long as you can fight. And then we looked at this world map. Okay, so are we gonna have a summary now? Of all the things. Also, Serenus Forest. Did that change? Did those trees on that map change? Were they different before? Because I have a feeling they might have. I don't know. Future Wishblade, look that up. They might have changed, I'm not sure. But apparently, we're doing a thing. Yay! The Serenus Forest is. Okay, that, that's just creepy. Yeah, there was a massacre, but now it's all good. People have been forgiven, and the forest has healed. There was much racism. Yes. Aww. Okay, they should- What? I thought they were laughing and singing in joy when they burned down the forest. And you're telling me, for the past 20 years, right after that they were ashamed. Were they all massacring and burning down the forest while being drunk? And then they woke up to the worst hangover ever for 20 years? Like, oh god, what did I do? Is that what really happened? My goodness. Also, hello, Leanne. You look beautiful as ever. Yay! Indeed she did. Now everything is good. The hangover is... It's all done for. What? And now we can just move on with our lives and not have to worry about anything else. Oh, well, it m maybe. But then apparently they forgive, forgave... Sanaki anyway. But then again, I'm not sure Sanaki is the real bad guy here. It must be someone else. I have a feeling. So, what's going on, guys? I don't know. Yay! Again, all the joy. There can't be... There can't be enough joy. Ever. Also, look at that green. That is so beautiful. Exactly. By the power of singing, a forest was healed. So if you ever find someone in need of healing, just sing them a song. Especially if it's a language no one understands. Then th th that's just even better. So, just sing them a random song in gibberish. And then everyone's good. Whatever injuries they might have. Also, hi Ike. You look strapping good, sir. Just look at that wonderful outfit you got there. And you still look kinda like yourself, so it's okay. It's not too different. We still recognize you. The first snow of the season falls. Oh god, is it winter? Oh no, I don't want it to be winter. General? What? I guess not a general, he's a lord. What are you even talking about? Are we going to the mountains? Uh-oh. That does not sound very nice at all. But I suppose if, it's, if it is what we must do, then we shall do so. As we head into... The next chapter, which is chapter number 18, Crimea Marches. I don't know how much of Crimea is marching right now. There's all the mercenaries, Alencia and stuff, and hello, Ashnard, you son of a bitch. You look terrifying as all hell. You have spikes on your shoulder. What the hell is with that? And Black Knight, hello, I'm still gonna kick your ass as soon as I find you. Yep, we're marching upon your asses. How do you feel about this? We're gonna take you all out, and then we're gonna take some swords, some lances, some axes, some lightning bolts, and we're gonna shove them right up your asses. Why? Because I don't like you. Simply because of that. Yes, we do. 
With the power of Benion at our side, we shall march right into your face. Yeah, that is basically what's gonna happen. And those ragtag mercenaries are kinda awesome. They've all also had promotions recently, therefore they're even more awesome. And they will continue to grow and be even more badass. You got nothing on us, good sir. Absolutely nothing. Even though you you look kind of scary and intimidating and amazing. In a very terrifying and badass way. Disappointing? We're not disappointing. You're disappointing for not having shown up earlier for me to kick your butt. Something uncanny? Uncanny Valley? No, that's something else entirely. People are drawn to Ike. On the guy's side is because he's so fucking awesome. On the girl's side is because they all want him inside them. Wait, what? No. Hmm. We should not talk about this. No. Ike. Why are you being such a charming man? The herons are alive. That is also true. Thank you for changing the subject, Ashnard. That's mighty kind. There are three members of the royal family who are alive. One of them is just bedridden right now. For 20 years. Maybe if we take him back to the forest, he'll, he'll feel much better. Potentially. You never know. One of them? No. You are not... What is this medallion thing you're talking about? And no, you cannot have the herons. I will not let you be Oliver. I will not allow this. And victorious music. Well, that's really victorious. This is victorious. It's definitely very moral boosting. And also, hello, Tanith. Are you here to help us? Is that something that's gonna happen now? Wyvern Riders, let's shoot him down. I got an amazing sniper right over there. He can deal with that. Also, his brothers. They have bows as well. Don't call me general. That's weird. I'm a commander. Face wyvern riders. Um, have I? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Actually, yes, two. I faced two. And then I was about to face one of them, but then she joined my ranks. So, yeah. Maybe just slightly dangerous. Really now? All right. So that's what I'm going to do now. A lot of Wyvern Riders, meaning I need all the bows and all the thunder in the world. I like it! Well, one of them is my favorite thing, so I was about to say two of my favorite things, but bows? Nah, not really. I'd rather just have a sword. Really now? Their reasons? Were they bad or good reasons? Hmm... Oh, you did? Oh, you are gonna accompany us. Sorry, but I already have a Falcon Knight. <laughs> well, I'll still have a look at you and talk about you eventually. But not right now. We are discussing things about the future while it's snowing and there's snow all around us. Is that gonna hinder me? Potentially, and I don't want that. Absolutely not. Maybe I can, but I won't. I already have Marcia and Jill to handle that. Will you now? I'm not so sure about that, but okay. Hi, Soren. Are you going to tell me how we did in the entirety of Chapter 17? Hm. Okay. Marcia was the MVP. Hmm. Well, all right. That's okay. And we had no deaths because... Well, it was kind of easy, and I did not fuck up ever. Absolutely not. Well, I kind of did. I fucked up on chapter, not chapter, part, stage, what? Stage four. That's what it's called. I don't even know anymore. And then I had to re-record. But it's okay. It's okay. Now let's see what we can do here. Do we have more supports? We do. Some of them. But those I don't care about. Anything else? Absolutely not. Then we'll just go to the info and talk to a random soldier. Why? Just cause. Hello there, good sir. You have fancy red armor. That means you are the enemy. Then I must stab you down right where you stand right now. Hmm. Well, that's just sad. What do you want from Ike? Have them wait. But maybe they're not patient. Um, I don't know. I guess they can wait in their tents and stay warm. Oh, uh, no. That sounds tedious. Yes, yeah, just stand down. How do you stand down? 
If you're standing, then you're standing up. So how do you stand down? I don't get it. Bye, soldier. Bye. Oh. You are another soldier, but you must be a lower rank, because your armor is not as fancy. Awesome. That's great. But, okay, what? And what orders are hers? Yes, everyone stand down. The general has spoken. Yes, clearly. Like, welcome to being a general of an army. You have to make all the goddamn decisions in the world. Meaning, I have to make all the decisions in the world. Meaning, we are fucked. <laughs> we will not move without your orders, sir. Well, damn it. Okay. Like, we're gonna have plenty of fun. Plenty of fun. Yes, they are. They should. Considering she's a general, apparently, then they should follow her orders as well. And my troops, or Ike's troops, what am I even saying, should follow Ike's orders. Yes, it makes sense. Very much so. Reinforcements, A. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. So Tannis can summon reinforcements? Maybe? Bye, you leave. Okay, bye, soldier. Bye. Then let's talk to Tannis, considering we can. Tannis, I am very confused about all these goddamn troops and being a general. Please, can you assist me in this entire debacle? There is a problem. I'm overwhelmed by all this leaderness, leadership, things. Being a leader, I don't like it. Can I, can I just let you deal with everything? Please? You're already a general. I just became a lord. I mean, what the hell? That's like having someone become a soldier and like, off you go to the front for the to the front. Um, something. What do you call that? The front row? Front ranks? I don't know. You go straight out into the battlefield. Okay, that just seems very overwhelming. And that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling overwhelmed by all this stuff. And... As I've already mentioned, it's snowing as well! It's already snowing! Why must I lead an army and in the snow? I don't want to. Winter is apparently coming, and I am not ready for it. Eighteen years ago? How wonderful! Are we gonna have story time? Now that's something I can deal with. A plague? Ugh. That does not sound nice at all. I don't want to go to plague land. Aww, and what tragedy was that? Was it that the previous king fell due to the plague? How did Ashnard not fall to the plague? Oh, a great flood? Sounds like a lot of cataclysmic events going on right here. Oh my, even more story! Two years before. Oh, it also struck you guys. Hmm, that's not nice at all. Aww, did they all die? They perish in Dayan. Okay. Well, that's something else entirely. Were you allowed in Dayan back then? Is that a thing? Huh. I did not realize this. Oh, I totally forgot. I don't know. Either one works. Uh-oh. Everyone who fell ill perished. I believe that is what happens when there's a plague going on. Plague means people die. Usually. None would survive. But then, Ashnard survived. Yes, indeed. How the hell that happened, no one knows. Well, maybe someone do. I don't. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, now that just seems suspicious. If, he's a, if he is of a distant bloodline, then how the hell was he lucky enough that everyone before him died to a plague, and then he became king. Did he did he make this plague? Was that a thing he did, Tanith? Is that something that happened? I'm suspicious. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm suspicious, ma'am. Oh, miss, ma'am, something. I did not mean to offend you, dear Tanith. No. Really? Hmm. Oh, really? I can imagine they would. Uh-huh. Yep. A lot of aerial battles, perhaps? Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that's not nice at all. That is just not acceptable. I will I I would not allow this. Did you reclaim it? Oh, solely to the strength of Ashnard. He sounds powerful. I can't wait to kick his ass. We have spoken for quite a while. I guess we have to go and do our general business. Okay, well have fun with that, because I won't. It's good to have some backstory, that is true. But, I'm still feeling overwhelmed. Okay, bye. Now, Tormod, you're a fire mage. Can you give me some fire? Can you burn away all the snow that's in our way? Um, you have not received orders yet because I don't bring you to the battlefield. Because I can't have everyone come along all at once. I am sorry. I already have a mage. His name is Soren, and he wields lightning. And it's kind of stronger than your fire, so... Sorry. Maybe I don't want you there. Maybe I don't, but I still want you around. Why? Because it's nice. More company! It's going to be very, very hard. Very difficult. Because we've entered the second part of this game. Kinda. As will be demonstrated later on, even more so than already with Ike's promotion. So, I'm just saying... For right now, you could just sit back and, I don't know, have fun, chill, do whatever, eat some chicken. I don't know what kind of things you eat. What do you eat, Morim? You're just standing there in the back, being silent, being quiet, being a shadow. A very large shadow of this tiny boy. Okay, he's not tiny, but he's still a boy. Yes. Have they now? Well, that's good. Because before then, it was kind of a land of racist people. Hopefully now, it's not. Also less slavery. I don't want slavery. No! No! I will not allow it. No, not really. You could just go home and chill. Basically. But if you wanna come along, then it's fine. You're not gonna be doing much, but you can join us. Alrighty then. Will you help us fight for the glory of a better world? Because if you do, then you're welcome to stay. Ike, you can't be Frank. You're Ike. There's a major difference between those two names. Are you both alright? Alright. And... Okay, you did not say you are alright, Tormod. What the hell? And with that, we are supposedly done. Now, do we actually have a certain someone? No, clearly we don't. We don't have Tanith, but she'll be joining us in a little bit. Now, before we do anything, we do have plenty of promoted units. Meaning, there's a bunch of them who can learn some occult scroll skills. The most important one, I was looking for the right word and then I found it. The most important one is to give one to Ike. Let him learn Aether. In certain instances, triggers both Sol and Luna consecutively. Blah, blah, blah. Consecutively. Meaning, he's gonna have a two strike attack. The first one will... I believe it's, it heals him. And the other one will ignore all defense. Or at least some defense. I can't remember. Either way, it is freaking awesome. And you should definitely learn that. Because you're gonna need it later on. You are definitely going to need it. Now, everyone else who should learn this one. Clearly, Soren can't... He doesn't have room for this thing. What does it do? In certain conditions, reduces enemy magic resistance by half. So, it's half reduction in defense and... resistance for those skills. And, obviously, Mia we already know about. Rolf, on the other hand, he has... Deadeye, doubles chance to hit, and in certain instances, puts enemies to sleep. And that activates per half his skill, I believe. While Flare and either is based on just skill. Now, moving on to Marcia. Stun. In certain instances, it mobilizes an enemy unit for one turn after being hit. Again, fairly certain it's just skill. So that's a thing. Nothing immediately awesome and special, but it's something. And just like Gatri and... Yeah, Gatri as a general and help a deer right here. Luna. Reduces enemy defenses by half. Already said that. And anyone else. Jill, I'm fairly certain that's done as well. Yes, it is. Oscar, 
Did we talk about you? I don't think we did. I'm not sure. I think we actually did, but there you go. That soul heals you for whatever damage you do. Boyd already talked about Colossus. So who should get the other occult scroll? Scrub, scroll? I don't know. And I'll find out later. Right now, let's just keep on going. 